that so I was working <laughs> witchcraft after witchcraft keep on throwing at me but because I was chosen by God I did not know at the time I thought I was just a normal person amen bless the name of Jesus you know living with my father it was not easy because my father was an alcoholic drink drink and um when he come in sometime he will you know go on in the different ways that he will be going on take up the knife and all of that i was working in uh, in portmore mall and um my mother was sick and i went to the church for help i didn't get any help from the church my mother is the one that helped me i was working four thousand dollars a week and I wanted to help my mother because she was in the hospital. You understand? I got, I, when I got saved in Kissetown, I got the feeling of the Holy Ghost. I don't visit my home and I got the feeling of the Holy Ghost on Friday. So I got the feeling of the Holy, baptism of the Holy Ghost and it fire. And from there, I started to prophesy. And the Lord, I would have dreamed out the day. I would have seen what is going to happen during the day and all of those stuff. Um, when I end up back in Portmore now, and I was here working over Portmore, when I would leave my big son home, my smallest son, with my dad, when I come home, my roasted fever, I didn't know that spirit was playing with him because uh, they, they were putting up spirit upon him. But because I know how to pray, I would normally come home and pray for him. All right, so when my mother got sick and I went to the church for help and I didn't got any help. <laughs> okay, Marcia. Okay. I just feel like that this will share, I will, this will, this testimony will help somebody tonight to know that when you have a purpose, it cannot die. So let's go back into the testimony now. So while working in Portmore and I, the $4,000, because my baby father was in America, he was not helping me with my son, said, end up now. Everything started to come down for me. The only thing I was not paying any rent, but I had to find things for my son, I had to, to ensure that he goes to school and all of those stuff, amen. And I was not getting any help. My mother was sick. The only person that normally helped me, she's sick. So she can't help me again. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. So I said, God, my mother is in the hospital. Them time they could have carried soup and so forth. But did you know that the enemy knows your weakness and he set traps for you? Remember, I was in church. Nah, nah, do no fornication. Nah, do nothing like that. And guess what happened? The devil started to set up all kind of man to come at my workplace. I end up fall into the trap with one of them and I got and I went and had sex and I got pregnant with my second son which is 13 years old now and I got pregnant with him when I got pregnant I was got pregnant in church with my second son now now this alone my my baby father to say okay never help me no time now again him have something now for use against me. Now, when I just got saved, I used to minister. I've, I've been ministering a long time. My church, my church is located at 447 Spanish Town Road, Kingston 11. People need to hear real testimony and people, I'm not afraid to share this testimony because those young girls that is out there, I know the reason why you have, been, you, you have to be doing what you're doing because sometimes your job is not helping you. Sometimes there's nobody there to help you. So I know the feeling. I know I've been there. Come on, people, share the broadcast. Share it. 
Amen. Go if you know a single girl, share it to her. If you know a single man, share it. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And so I used to testify and minister to a lot of young people and all my friends. Glory to God. <laughs> ah, bless the name. Bless the name of Jesus. And so I used to minister at the time my father owned a bar. A bar was in my yard. And all the persons that I normally will minister, they are they are going at the bar. So when I got pregnant with my second son, I decided I'm not gonna bring him. I'm not going to bring this child because it makes no sense bring this child. Remember, I'm in church. I said, God, I'm in church. I said, God, what I gonna do? So I remember I went over one of my friends, she's a police now. I went over her home. I, and I'm the one that ministered to her. She was going to New Testament and I was going to the apostolic faith. Went over her house now to get the directory because somebody told me about a place where you can go and abort the child. And the person said, okay, it's 10,000 to do it. And I got the funds. And I said, I'm going to do it. So I went over home now just to get the direction now to get the place. When I went over home, she was just coming out of prayer. And she said to me, the Lord said to tell her that what you're going to do, don't do it. The child that you're carrying is a prophet to the nation. The child that you're carrying is going to open doors for you. The child that you're carrying is special. And I, I dropped the directory because I didn't have any tummy. I didn't have any tummy. I didn't have any tummy because my family, when they, 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 are, when they are pregnant, they carry flat tummy. And I was pregnant. <laughs> ah, glory to God. I, 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 I was pregnant. Marcy, I was pregnant. Glory to God. And so when she said that, glory to God, bless the name of Jesus. I went over and I said, God, we still are going to do it. Okay, I have a stepsister on my, on my, my sister's sister. And she's a discerner. She's a person who, when she, she, she's a dreamer too as well. So she came to me, I saw her coming up the road. Because we're normally party together. And she come to me and she said, you know, I got a vision last night. And I said, really? That's the next day, you know. And she said, the Lord visit me. But he came in appearance of a man. And he 